Hey, everybody, I wanted to do a part two of the documentary of my dad, Horace Leverett. Here you can see that he's dressed up really nice, looking really good on Sabbath morning, getting ready to go to church. But this documentary is more so about uh, dad being a provider for the family. For over 60 years, he had a routine of going grocery shopping, just as you see him here, going from aisle to aisle, and so, friends, I hope you enjoy this special Father's Day commemoration of my dad, Horace Leverett. Ninety-nine cents. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> dad had a way with money. Uh, one of the things that he's taught me over the years is not only how to make a dollar, but how to save a dollar. I'm worried about the price of it. <laughs> Just some toilet paper, man. That's all. So in this special Father's Day part two documentary of my dad, Horace Leverett, I just wanted to take you on his routine for over 60 years where he has methodically provided for the family, providing food and other necessities. I just kind of wanted to show you how he does it uh, every Thursday and how he's been doing it for the last 60 years. I didn't got used to it. Used to what? I'm easy, I can shop. You like shopping? Oh man, I can, I can deal. I know where to buy it. <laughs> Sometimes I have to go to three stores. Really? 99 cent store, Superior, uh -huh. Food for Less. Those three are my stores. Sometimes two. Sometimes two, you can yeah. get everything at two. Yeah. Now dad has three stores that he goes to. The first stop would be Superior. Dad knows exactly what's in Superior Market, and he has a list that he goes by that my mother compiles, and he follows that list methodically. One thing is for certain, dad knows how to get the best quality produce, whether it be vegetables or fruit. Uh, he goes through each and every item to make sure that he gets the best, whether it be beets or potatoes. Uh, dad knows how to get the best quality and he's sort of been programmed over the years by my mother to bring home only the best, only the best quality. Even if he has to spend a little bit extra, getting the best quality is very important. She put down there two slightly green and two yellow. Two green and two yellow. I told her they all yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's Just green cabbage. Five out of five. Here is another example of dad realizing that quality is most important when buying produce. Uh, here he's looking over each head of cabbage to make sure that he gets the best quality because he realizes that quality is most important. Like this. And then I bag him up. And then you bag him. Okay. Again, for over 60 years now, this has been Dad's routine. Uh, not only going from store to store, but going down each aisle looking for each item on the list. Two boxes of brown rice. Brown right. With the Z, the Z. Mm -hmm. Brown right. That's it. Yeah. 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 Black, black, black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. Should be right here. Right yeah. there. This is what you want? Yeah. Cheap. Which, what, how many? One, Just one. One. One bag of Zuka, dear cane sugar, 179, superior. What is this? It's the markdown. 
<laughs> this is your mom down, man. This is one of Dad's favorite places in Food for Less. It's called the Markdown section, and uh, some of the items are pretty good. Some of the items are not so good. Ninety-nine cent. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. about the same thing. Right. Now, very good now you just go to that express line. Yeah. You'll notice here that dad doesn't have many items in his basket, and it's partly because he knows exactly which item to get at which store. Uh, he knows the price. He knows where to find it. And so he doesn't spend a whole lot of time at each store. He gets what he needs, and then he goes to the checkout stand, and he checks out and goes to the next store. Sometimes they'll give okay. me free those little bags oh, that yeah. they usually sell. Oh, you got bags in the car. I got bags up the yang yang. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, you got bags. <laughs> yeah, I got bags, man. Plenty bags. Okay. Can you make it? Yeah, I can make it. You That's true. how to work it. Yeah. After you do it a few times, you know how to work it. Right. You know what to get, you take your where to get it. Right. You can't get everything at one store. Oh. Get in this right lane. Yeah. Don't turn in this next next yeah. entrance down there. Not this one. That one. Right. Food for less got a big mark down. And I have to go by there. Right. Because there's always, man, sometimes always some a deal. good bargain, man. <laughs> you can't beat that. <laughs> you can't beat it. So you say she gets the same thing? Yeah, she gets the same thing we can do. So it's, it's easy for you to locate it. That's you, right. You know the store. I know the store. Tampico Park. Tampico. You know, I've always known that dad shops very methodically and every time I go with him, I always kind of think I know exactly what he's gonna do and how he's gonna do it, but I always seem to learn something very new and very different every time he goes. Uh, it's one of those things where when you do it so long, you begin to learn a sort of um, routine that is very, very efficient and very, very effective even when it comes to looking for specific items that are on the list. And also my mother knows exactly what's in each store as well. So she's writing down a very specific item for him to buy. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Can you reach it? The next item on dad's list to pick up is gonna be the toilet tissue, which is gonna be quite funny. Toilet tissue can run into money, man. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about how thick it is. <laughs> Look at the price on it real bad. <laughs> That's a good deal, man. I know it. Yeah. I know it. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's the cheapest deal. I know. I get that every every week. Oh, really? Not every week. Every time you get it. Yeah. How many you get? Four rolls or eight? Four or five. Okay. That's a good price. Okay. Yeah. You sure she gonna like this? You sure she no, gonna? She ain't gonna like it, but she like it. She just. Just to give it. Use, use a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Dad. You want? She, she, she ain't gonna put no more money in, but she wants the high price stuff. <laughs> I, can't, I 
Give me what? Four? Four. Five. Five? Five. Yeah. All right. How's that? Five. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about. He only uses cash. Dad doesn't use any credit cards, no ATM cards, no debit cards. He only uses cash. In fact, one of the things that he's always said over the years is, if you watch the pennies, the dollars will take care of themselves. And I believe it is this example of not only knowing how to save money, but how to spend money wisely that makes him the great example of a father and a provider that he is. Yeah, I hope you load it up. You worry about what kind, I'm worried about the price of it. <laughs> Just some toilet paper, man, that's all. Ain't nothing but toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You got the one item you get. Oh, yeah? Yeah. One item. Come on. This is going to be the last stop for the day. It's taken him two and a half hours to go to three stores to pick up all of the grocery needed for the week. And this last stop would be 99 cent store only for one, one item. It may seem as though this is out of the way, and really it's not. It just goes to show that dad knows exactly where to buy the best quality items at the lowest possible price. I realize that not everyone shops this way, but this has been dad's routine for over 60 years, and it works. It works for him, it worked for the family, and uh, he's been able to do this and to provide a, a private Christian education for each one of us. and to provide some of the nicer things in, in life. Uh, Dad knows how to save a dollar, but he also knows how to enjoy life as well. So Dad, we wanna say we love you, happy Father's Day, and may God bless you always.